Not to be confused with Selfie, our number eight pick is the mysterious Irish Selkie. These seal women are the ultimate shapeshifters. While swimming in the ocean, they are clad in seal skins. But these bathing beauties have a neat trick of peeling off their outer skin to reveal their gorgeous human forms when they come ashore. Selkies aren't dangerous in and of themselves, unlike many of the creatures on this list, but their stories almost always end in tragedy. When the Selkies come ashore, they are all woman, and the dry land folk will inevitably fall in love with them, stealing their seal skins and trying to tame the wild sea lasses. In some stories, the Selkies are often taken prisoner by these lovelorn guys. In others, they go willingly, but the stories always end the same way. The Selkie will long for the sea and finally stumble across her seal skin to return to the waves, often leaving behind children. Our next pick isn't content with just traveling between the dry and wet worlds. She wants to steal landlubbers for her very own. Number 7. Iara Iara is the Brazilian beauty nicknamed Lady of the Waters, whose half-woman, half-snake appearance is both dazzling and terrifying. She loves basking in the warm waters of the Amazon River and always had the hots for the two-legged creatures who are unfortunate enough to cross paths with her. See, the poor Iara just wants to have a boyfriend, like everyone else. She just has a taste for the mortal kind. Iara isn't a malicious mermaid, just was a starry-eyed romantic who can't seem to grasp the concept of mortality. And immortal herself, Iara just loves to pluck handsome fellas from the banks of the Amazon and drag them to her underwater lair. She never did quite understand why they sputtered and flailed on their way down, drowning before she was able to steal even one kiss. Poor Iara never saw the connection, and still doesn't. Our number six pick has a jealous side that just can't be contained. Mamiwata is an African goddess with several tricky underwater dwelling followers who will often sneak on shore to collect human sacrifices. Mamiwata is totally insatiable, and her bloodlust is only eclipsed by extreme jealousy. She is endlessly envious of human women, often slaughtering them, disfiguring them, or rendering them barren. The men who shunned her got the same fate. Those unlucky souls who found themselves between the watery sheets with Mami Wata were forced to show eternal devotion or die horribly. Still, Mami Wata has got nothing on our next pick. Number 5. Fin Folk Fin Folk are the United Kingdom's most notorious shapeshifters, a shifty collection of nomadic sorcerers who make the ocean their domain and punish anyone who got too close. Finfolk are slippery nomads with a deep love of silver and an even deeper hatred of the human world. They commonly kidnap humans, making them sex slaves in their underwater kingdom. Finfolk are also known for ambushing human settlements, especially those that come a little bit too close to the shores. Unlike Selkies, Finfolk have no problem raining down magical fire on the humans who cross them, which unfortunately for the folks of the UK is pretty much everyone. You heard the name of our number four pick, but you probably didn't know the extent that these evil sea witches will go to when they want to punish humans. Sirens are popular creatures in mythology, and even said to have a certain sex appeal. But there's nothing sexy about these half-bird, half-female demons of the deep. Unlike most mer creatures, sirens spend most of their time hanging around jagged rocks and luring sailors to their deaths with their beautiful bird song and a little flirtatious waving. The sole job of a siren is to shatter ships on the rocks, splintering them to smithereens like so much matchwood. While the other monstrous mermaids on our list cause heartache and death, none of them so far does it with the sadistic zeal of sirens. Not yet, at least. Number 3. Nerona If you're looking for benevolent mermaids that accidentally drown a sailor or two, you're way out of your depth. Nerona is Nightmare Fuel, a Japanese mermaid myth that puts a horrific spin on the creatures by adding a huge pair of fangs. That's right, Nerona has the body of a massive snake and the face of a beautiful woman. That is, until you catch sight of her giant pointed chompers. 
Nerona adds another element to the sadistic seduction of the sirens by luring people into her clutches by pretending to be a mother in distress. Nerona tucks her coils up and cradles a decoy baby in her arms. When well-wishers stop by to see what's up, Nerona locks them to the ground and pierces their flesh with her tongue, slowly draining their blood until they are lifeless. It gets worse from here, as our number two pick proves. Storm Kelpies might sound cute and cuddly, but they're actually cannibalistic hunters who often lure humans into their lair and feast on their drowning bodies. Also known as the Blue Men of the Minch, Storm Kelpies will sometimes let humans pass if they can pass a rhyming duel. That's right, you'll need to win the ultimate rap battle if you're unlucky enough to cross paths with the Storm Kelpies. There's a good chance that you'll fail miserably though. Humans don't have a good track record with these blue-hued monsters of the waves, but at least they stand a chance. If you cross the next monster on our list, you're done for, no question. What could be worse than a cannibalistic wordsmith? Our number one pick is Keto, and she is not to be trifled with. Keto is the goddess of sea monsters, and she loves nothing more than terrifying and killing humans in all sorts of inventive ways. Keto's claim to fame is giving birth to all sorts of hideous sea monsters to fill her underwater freak show. From massive vipers, huge crabs that snack on boats full of unfortunate sailors, or snakes with hundreds of heads, Keto's entire life mission is to make the human world as miserable as possible. Unfortunately, she's immortal, so it just goes on and on and on. Unlike Poseidon, who will throw the occasional divine fit over being ignored, Keto never wanted human reverence. She's only out for blood, dreaming up more undersea terrors designed to make any sane land dweller stay the hell away from the ocean for good. Keto is the worst of the worst, a soulless sadist without a compassionate bone in her fishy human body. Do you believe in sirens and mermaids? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.